hello everyone so in this video we are going to cover the opportunities which are there with the rpa industry as of now what is trending in rpa what is the expected salary from an industry that is given to an rpa developer senior rpa developer and at last the million times asked question can a tester become rpa developer so these are the four questions that are being frequently asked to me on the linkedin as well as from the community side it is coming so i would like to answer all these questions one by one turn by turn in this video so first of all if we look at the rpa trend that is there in the industry so we can do a comparison with respect to the previous years and the market industry of 2020 so there is a increase there is a hike of in sales of robotic process automation software by 68% you know these softwares that are available like automation anywhere is there blue prism is there ui path is there so most of the organizations most of the companies have been purchasing these softwares and they have started using they have started implementing their processes of organizations into these uh, using these rpa tools that are there available in the market so you can see there is a growth of 68 percent so that is approximately 950 million dollars in 2020 so far so that is a huge number okay and uh, so so there was a also a recent report that was being published by gartner and uh, they published their top 10 strategic technology trends for upcoming years and it's and for 2020 as well so it was about hyper automation about ai security about autonomous things so everything is trending about robotic process automation in the industry so if we look at this number, this is more than 50%. Like this is not, and this is not less. It means that RPA is trending in the market and it is going to create a big boom in the future as well. Okay. So if anyone asks you like, uh, would you like to make your career in RPA? So give it a thought and think big. Because see, generally we uh, don't prefer doing jobs that are not available in the market. But currently this is a setting up a trend and I would show you in the upcoming slides also. If you just go and do a Google search of RPA developer jobs in the in, the, in India itself, then you would be able to find out many jobs that are available. But you just need a good skill set and, uh, and if possible, if a certification is there, then it would be very useful for your career. Okay, now why, why this RPA is trending across the across the technology across this whole world because now companies have started discovering that standardized robots are suitable for different uses in different departments maybe it can be an HR department where they can be useful for you know uh, generating on payroll or generating pay slips and they can be important in uh, they can be useful in the financial industry as well where if someone wants to calculate a tax so instead of using Excel or instead of using a manual accounting person, they can use bot and they can generate the income tax report of the person of an employee as per his, sal his or her salary structure. These people also. So another major advantage is that these robots, these RPA bots are available 24 7, 365 days. Okay. So if a human being is there, he needs a rest on Saturday and Sunday. But by implementing these bots, a human being, an employee can do, can learn more new thing in the market and can do something other work that is more productive, more beneficial to his or her career. Okay. So that, that is how the advantage of RPA is there. And this is the direction. This is the, you know, ideology behind it. Many of people, they think that RPA will take our jobs. No, actually RPA will make people more effective, more productive in their career. Okay. Another advantage is that, uh, that there are more simple and repetitive tasks that an individual has to do every day, right? It can be anything. Let's say you have to open an email and you have to figure out how many bugs we have found and you have to send in a report to the stakeholders, to the development team. So these all things are, you know, time taking. They are time consuming so it is better to automate them and these reports can be self self generated using the rpa tools itself okay another thing is the more complex the 
elimination of remaining problem becomes means there are processes that are very much complex and that every individual cannot learn okay so what they can do is they can educate one of the employee one of the person and then he can automate the entire thing and then you know it would be a sense of relief for the entire team okay and now companies are also uh, relying as in you know for all the automation tools for rp as a reliable source of tools available reliable software that are available because they are not only they can not only automate the web applications but they can also automate citrix automation applications that are available in the remote desktop or sap applications java applications even desktop applications all those kinds of technology stuff can be automated use, using an rpa tool using an robotic process automation tool and that too they are more reliable and less error prone okay now looking at the salary structure so it again depends on what skill set that you are having in which organization you are being hired and which particular city in which particular location you are being hired okay now considering the figures this is just a random figure and it can be plus or minus based on the your interview skill set or how did you perform at the interview and what all certification that you are having so approximately for a fresher generally the the position that would be given is of rpa developer or a junior rpa developer and the salary would be in the range of 6 lakhs per annum to 8 lakhs per annum okay it can be in the range of 5 to 7 at times it might go 6.5 as well okay and if you are uh, if you are outside india then it would be you know approximately and on an hourly basis and it would be same same as round of a normal developer web developer or a dot net developer okay and if you are having an experienced in the rp industry then generally the salary structure would be 12 lakhs per annum to 18 lakhs per annum again it depends it my if if you are getting hired in a location of a bangalore or a pune compared to if you are getting hired in ahmedabad or mumbai so these are all the uh, approximate salary uh, range 12 lakhs per annum to 18 lakhs per annum and in experience uh, you know skill set the job role would be of a senior rpa developer or it can be of an rpa architect or it can be of an rpa business analyst or an rpa lead okay now again this salary structure depends upon your experience as well previously how many years of experience you are having in it industry and what exactly experience you are having okay it might happen if you have a less than a year experience and you are been hired into a location like of a uh, rajkot is there or surat is there or uh, on a, on a small scale industry then you might be earning around 3.5 lakhs per annum if you have 1 to 3 years of experience you may get around 4.5 to 6 lakhs per annum so these are all the approximate figures don't go to the exact figures that are going on over here but consider the job role and it depends on the experience how much experience you are having and every year you can get a hike of 20 to 20 to 30% okay so the this is the analytics that we have developed based on the google research that we have done okay and this is just an estimate prepared based upon three rpa senior web developers salary reports that were furnished by the employees and these are all the statistical reports on behalf of it okay you can demand to maximum if you are certified so again certification plays a very important role over here you can be automation anywhere certified you can get ui path certified even certification is available in blue prism as well okay so so over here don't go to these numbers these numbers depend upon the locations upon the you know salary structure and it also depends upon on your resumes on your career how many experience you are having if you are getting hired in a good company like capgemini so they can give you uh 6 lakhs per annum as per pressure while if you are going for an off campus and you are going to a small scale company so you can get 3.5 to 4 lakhs per annum again the the demand of rpa developer is going to be same as the demand of you know dot uh, net developer or a java developer in the upcoming time now the last question is can a manual tester be an rpa developer yes absolutely because anyone with a good 
logical skills with a good analytical skills who can know where the logic of the flow logic of the process is going he can develop he can definitely become an rpa developer and uh, normal logic reasoning uh, is required coding is required like if else looping is required and how you can use variables how you can optimize the process how you can run get the work done from the bot in an optimized manner in consuming less time and they can give you, give you the maximum output then you can uh, definitely become an rpa developer you don't need as such you know programming knowledge i have recently you know worked on a ui path i have been working on automation anywhere since 6 years so i don't see anything that is you know requiring a programming knowledge until unless there is some scripting no scripting knowledge required like let's say it's a use case in which we have to develop something out of uh, numbers or we have to calculate the age of a person something like those it depends on the use case or what process you are getting in an organization so then some kind of vb scripting or some kind of powershell scripting you can implement with those rpa bots itself so again not end to end knowledge but if you have some good programming knowledge so it would be an advantage okay so you can opt for tools like blue prism is there automation anywhere is there or ui path is there and they are easy to use the community edition is available in the on their respective websites even the automation anywhere videos are available on my channel also so you can go through them and uh, i have explained from scratch like if, if someone is not knowing even the abc of rpa then also they can learn and they can implement and they can build their career in the rpa industry so so far so good and these are the most trending questions that are been asked to me in the linkedin so i thought to create a video on it okay so again don't don't go to these numbers it all depends upon your skill set and in which location especially you are getting hired how many years of experience you have in the overall it industry okay so we have discussed uh, the career opportunities in rpa job trends in rpa rpa developer salary can a tester become rpa developer okay these are all the things that we have discussed i would also like to add one more thing now let's say if you want to know how many rpa developer jobs are there in india right now so just go to linkedin and i did a very random search in the morning today uh, and i searched rpa developer in india and i got approximately 9227 results okay so many many hirings are going on not only in mnc companies but in other companies as well and you can see the developer rpa okay senior rpa developer senior rpa developer so these are all the job roles that you can expect when you get hired as an rpa developer see junior rpa developer so uh, this this is going to be a good uh, you know beginning of a trend it's i would say rather the rpa trend has begun itself and you should surely give a thought on making your career in rpa as you are become as you are making your career in career in software testing as well okay so thank you for watching this video thank you for your time stay tuned for more videos